Welcome to our lecture online. Let's take another look at what we mean by the level of confidence. So, if we do a test, we take a random sample, the test statistic falls within the critical region, and that critical region, the size of it, is defined by the level of significance. Let's say we set the level of significance at 0.10, which is 10%. Then, there's a 90% probability, because the level of confidence is 100% minus the level of significance, which is 10%, that gives us 90%. So there's a 90% probability that if we reject the null hypothesis, since our test statistic falls in a critical region, that we made the right decision. What if we do 10 tests? We take 10 random samples, we calculate 10 test statistics, and every one of those test statistics ends up in the critical region. So in all 10 cases, we would reject the null hypotheses. But since there's only 90% confidence, chances are that one of those 10 decisions was a wrong decision. And that's why we have that level of confidence. Yes, you're 9 out of 10 confident that you made the right decision by rejecting null hypothesis, but there's a 10% chance you made a wrong decision. And that's what we mean by the level of confidence. We have 90% confidence that if we reject the null hypothesis, we made the right decision. Okay, and uh, so if there's 10 cases that fall within the critical region, we will correctly reject the null hypothesis 9 out of 10 times. Again, that's the level of confidence. How much confidence do we have that we make the right decision? Which means that if it's only 90%, that 1 in 10 decisions will end up being wrong, at least statistically. And that is how it's done. Yeah, that one was a little bit more difficult. <clears throat> All right, that's number 14.